As we're all ushered into a new era of technology, ChatGPT is literally on the tip mm -hmm. of everyone's tongue. That's the AI tool that can provide answers to complex questions in mere seconds. And now imagine merging that technology with robots. Yeah, that thought has many worried about what happens if this emerging technology lands in the wrong hands. Our chief business and technology correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, dives into why we should all be paying attention to this robot revolution. Take a look. Robots, they can already do so much, from picking up tools to delivering products, even running entire factories. We've come a long way in a very short time. Today, with the emergence of generative AI technology like ChatGPT, which lets humans get answers to complex questions in a matter of seconds, it's a whole different ballgame. We just went ahead and asked, hey, do you know what the Microsoft logo looks like? And it said yes and was able to actually draw it using code. Robots can now take instructions in English instead of computer code. As you see in this video where researchers direct and help teach the robot to complete simple tasks. It's not just pattern matching. This is now actually creating something. Reshaping medical care, education, and most workplaces. But there's also the darker side. More reminiscent of a Terminator film or Black Mirror episode. Like this footage. Not a movie, but a very real robo dog, armed with a submachine gun, firing live rounds. Always talking about it because it's always a concern. This is a problem for the category of robotics. Weaponizing general purpose robots is going to make people very, uh, very nervous about seeing these robots around their communities. We wondered how companies at the forefront of developing these new innovations are answering such difficult questions. So our team got an exclusive tour of Agility Robotics state-of-the-art production facility in Pittsburgh. CEO Damian Shelton and CTO Jonathan Hurst showing us around. These robots can walk, crouch low, reach high, and are built to increase the productivity, efficiency, and wellness of jobs for humans. And we're really focused on warehouse logistics tasks right now, the dull, dirty, dangerous stuff. It's really uh, allowing people to uh, prioritize what they're doing to the things that have uh, a higher return for their employer and are, and are more interesting for the person to do. But with so much promise, there also comes peril. People are worried about autonomous weapons, and rightly so. And so anytime somebody does something, even a small company, even a small thing, it is something that concerns everybody and it really harms the ability of everybody else to do good with robotics. That dog video and others like it prompting Agility and five other leading robotics companies to sign an open letter against the weaponization of their robot technology. Unsurprisingly, roboticists also think about the implications of all the technology that, that we build. We don't want to see a robots causing harm, being weaponized, being used in a military context. The letter that we signed is you know, a recognition to society that, hey, we in the industry can see this as being a problem mm -hmm. uh, and that ultimately this is really a, an identification of uh, you know, a risk that, you know, we would hope that it's broader social conversation around. At the same time, the technology continues to evolve and researchers can see the possibilities. This is definitely not in a stage where we can just like, take it out there and apply it on a bunch of robots. Microsoft and OpenAI, along with the robotics world, urging caution as we head full throttle into uncharted territory. That's going to require a lot of thoughtful uh, implementation work. And I, you know, say my view is people should be very careful about that. Exactly how that happens is kind of up to us. So I want to bring these robots into the world in a way that is as positive, as helpful, as productive as it can possibly be. Oh, that's pretty cool. Could you imagine a robot helping you do your job? Yeah. <laughs> or even just clean your house. You think you know, of Jetsons, I can right? imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of good, but also a lot, a lot to pause bad, yeah. to be concerned mm -hmm. about. Our thanks to Rebecca Jarvis for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.